So, I have to drop this real quick, like, podcast, like, video real quick on how your haters are your biggest supporters. I hope y'all can hear me good because I don't have my microphone right now. Um, But, yeah, y'all, like, and these could be, like, people that seem like they support you. They do all this and do that and secretly talk about you behind your back. These could be people who you've had a falling out with, but, you know, they're constantly gossiping. They keep old messages, old photos of you. They constantly trying to ask people, oh, have you heard from such and such? Have you, oh, what they got going on and this, that, and the third. They constantly want to keep updates on you, but they don't like you. So it's almost like a frenemy type vibe. So... I'm going to share like an experience. So there could there was like this one instance where I did this show and this girl was like, oh, I'm having a show. I would love if you come perform. But, every, you know, a lot of people was drinking it. Like, you know, if I if I indulge, I'll take like one or two drinks, you know, something like um, I don't drink to get drunk. You know what I'm saying? Just to chill the nerves, especially when you're performing, you're an entertainer. It's a lot going on, nerves of performing. So it's just something to cool me down. And so and I'm just transparent. I'm fully transparent on my channel, you know, even when I backslide and everything. But I've been good. I've been sober. I've been smoking and all that good stuff, y'all. Even when I smell it, I live in a legalized state. So it's like I'll be wanting to. I'll be like, oh, just one little path. But I'll be like, nope. And you have already, you know, released that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you good, you don't need it, you know what I'm saying? You understand how to pray and how God is is your high, you know what I'm saying? I'm high on Christ. So, long story short, so that's what was communicated to me, you know what I'm saying? People was drunk and everything like that. So, I guess when I actually seen the fly, I was like, I wasn't on the list. I was like, I thought you wanted me to perform. And she was like... Oh, well, uh, it must have been, I never said that. Like, it was just like how, it was just how the communication came back to me. Like, oh, I never said that and this, that. It was just like kind of aggressive, like passive aggressive, you know, in text, you you really kind of lose dialogue. So I was like, okay, let me not take it too seriously. Now I'm a mother of two. I got three jobs and my inbox has been lit lately. So I'm thinking the girl didn't reply back to me so I was like okay whatever she was like the lineup has already you know been set a long time ago whatever whatever mind you I ain't gonna get into the other shit that I that I peeped but um because <laughs> it's irrelevant at this point I really don't care and so I was like whatever you know what I'm saying um it probably wasn't meant to be anyways you know what I'm saying so I was like oh, okay that's fine. And so I had another show and she was there because I, I guess someone who was, I want to say, I guess someone who was performing, she was performing with them. She had a collaborative song with them. So, you know, I was there, I was chilling, whatever, and she didn't even speak. So I was like, you know, I've always been that girl always speaking first, like, oh, hey, I always speak first to people. And I noticed like, dang, like, let me see how people act if I don't speak first it's like I'm tired of doing that like I don't speak to people who don't want to speak to me so if you can't say hey you know sorry about the miscommunication or whatever like that I'm I'm happy you made it here and nothing like the business said and then she bumped me it was crazy y'all like I'm really delivered like like literally like I'm walking towards like the stage the crowd area and I guess she was leaving the bar and then I feel her just bump me like, she didn't feel like you're big. Like, she's a big girl. You know what I'm saying? Like, she bumped me. And I was like, you know what? Just let that shit go. We didn't speak the whole night. Like, people was acting funny. Acting like they didn't want to come to the stage not performing. But guess what? People was there, still came, and still watched your girl perform or whatever. Even her. And so, I was just thinking in my mind, like... People want me to just ruin myself. Like, I was thinking in my head, like, if I hit this girl, I'm going to go to jail. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, cause I know how strong I am. So I just let it go. I was just like, whatever, sweetheart. I already know. Like, I got so much confidence in myself. Like, 
it don't even matter. Like, that don't phase me. You know what I'm saying? I was like, whatever. Because, like, I can read people. I read. And I'm like, okay, you just, I test people, too. Because it's like, you just show me what type of female you are. Like, like, <laughs> and that's the reason why I knew the whole conversation was weird. Like, it's weird. And then it's like, uh, people that I used to mess with in the past, like they all connect. It's all like everybody is connected in some type of way. And it's like a whole bunch of gossip. They sending their friends, they little flying monkeys, you know what I'm saying? Checking on my profile and trying to like talk to people, trying to get people not to like me. I know you're talking about me. You know what I'm saying? To your friends, um, to people, you know, not to fuck with me because, because of something you did, like you were disrespectful to me first, but they always trying to make me be the bad guy. You know how Nicholas like, so you can get on your keyboard and make me the bad guy, Chung Lee. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You need just like me. <laughs> okay. So that could be going on with the, with y'all too. Cause I know that I am not the only one. Y'all let me know if y'all resonate with stuff like this. Like, it's crazy like people are so entitled like who are you like it's not that big of a deal like <laughs> you could have spoken to me in person like if you really valued our friendship if you was a real friend this is how I peep out the real from the fake you feel me like that was some fake stuff like girl bye like it's not even that serious <laughs> Your enemies are advertising who you are. Like the more they talk about people and the the more they talk about you is the more and send people your way. People actually are getting to know the real you. And they're like, she doesn't act like that to me. She doesn't act like that as as far as I know her. You know, she's really a sweet girl. She's really a giving girl, a genuine girl. You know what I'm saying? She has great she has great morals and integrity and she stands on a solid foundation. You know what I'm saying? She, you know what I'm saying? Like, or he, you could be a, a male watching as well. And it's worse when it's men doing this. You know what I'm saying? I get it on both sides saying it's like, this is just mostly like a, like a venting thing. Like if anything, like, see, you got people, look at the kids start arguing and stuff. So, I'm about to go wrap this message. Long story short, let your enemies keep on pumping you up, speaking your name. The more they try to tarnish or um, your name is the is the bigger God is going to bring fame to your name. With that being said, through Christ we unite. Stay along with Divine Minds.